Bible details that every Christ follower is to be a disciple maker. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty humbling. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to go another second without reminding ourselves what is a disciple then? I mean, if making disciples and make disciples is not a suggestion, it's a mandate, it's not an option, but rather it's a command, it's to be a way of life, then what is a disciple? And I want you thinking about, as we hear this text this morning, and we talk from Luke chapter 5, how Jesus called his disciples, if this matches your heart. Throughout the New Testament, there is overwhelming evidence that there are three primary characteristics of what is a disciple. Number one, a disciple knows and follows Christ. That salvation is not just a mere assertion of facts. It is not just you basically knowing an orientation about God. But no, there is a progressive way of life that is detailed. Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. It is a knowledge that leads to a wisdom applied in a life, a life that is given to God completely, a life then that secondly then becomes more like Christ, that it is the desire of God for us to become like someone, the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll find that in high times and in low times that God will be gracious, that God will show mercy, that, that God will provide specific instruction, that God will allow trials and temptations and all of these things to this end, that you would become more like Christ. And thus then are committed to living out the mission of Christ. And so now it's with every fiber in my being today that we begin from what is a disciple to begin now to detail, Jesus is calling his first disciples and how then we are to multiply by God's grace tens of thousands through the years. Disciples who will make disciples who make disciples as we multiply disciples to follow Jesus.